up YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full of Fishing channel! Have you guys um, checked the previous video on the YouTube channel yet? If you guys did not watch that video, <clears throat> I am going to link it above. Please go there and check it out. That was day number one of Extreme Fully Fishing here in Harrisburg. And if you watch that video, you saw that yesterday's fishing session here in the mighty Susquehanna River was very fun, but very, very frustrating, right? I told you guys that if people come to the mighty Susquehanna River, um, that the Susquehanna River is known for being a trophy smallmouth bass fishery, right? AKA the Micropterus dolomiel. And uh, pretty much I focused the entire video on trying to catch a nice smallie. But sadly, that didn't quite happen, huh? Well, I tell you what, today is my last day here in Harrisburg and in this video, we're going to do the entire opposite of what I did last video. If last video was to focus on a single species, in this video, I am going to show you guys how diverse the Susquehanna is, right? The main objective of the day is to catch everything. In other words, it is to do a species assessment here in the Susquehanna River. I am going to add a secondary objective, obviously, because I am a life lister, right? You got, I, I got to pursue the species for my fish decks. <laughs> I want to at least catch one new species of fish for my life list, right? So I'm going to add a secondary objective there. And you know what? Just to make this video more entertaining to you guys, let's add, let, let's add a little challenge as well, huh? How about we add a little challenge and try to catch 10 different species of fish from the Susquehanna River today, huh? I think even for a life lister who is not very familiar with this particular body of water, 10 species is really, is really pushing it, right? That's why it's a challenge. So, all right, let's get started, man. We got a lot to do today. It is currently 9 a.m., all right? Leo Shane, not lying over here. I am not going to have lunch today. I'm going to fish the whole day until sunset. And boy, we're going to work hard for this video. So let's get the fishing started. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the moments when having a pair of waterproof socks really really pays off i got my waterproof socks all the way knee high right so that when i step in the river my feet do not get wet and as you guys will see in this video waterproof sock is going to help a lot when it comes to covering water today and hitting the spots that i want to hit i'm going to leave the hyperlink of this product in the description of the video for those who are interested this new brand that i bought recently Oh my goodness, first fish of the day, first cast of the day. This, <laughs> I bought this new brand recently that is like really good and cheaper than the last brand. I was going to tell you guys, right, that today's Saturday here in, and I decided to come to my, one moment, let me battle this fish first. Ah, oh man, it swiped at it, but does not count, does not count. It was hooked on the outside of the mouth. As you guys can see, definitely does not count, does not count. Let me unhook this fella real quickly here. I was going to tell you guys, right, that today's Saturday, so fishing pressure in this river is going to be, oh, it's going to be bad out here today. That's why I decided to choose the spot where I lost the three big fish yesterday. My goodness, dude. This is the nice one. No! No! Bro, how, dude? How? How? Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? It felt like I was snagged, son. First light, right? I'm the first one here at this particular spot, man. I'm, I'm trying to get the smallie out of the list on the 10 species challenge right off the bat. All right, a little bit more to the left, around those boulders. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. There we go. Our first smallie of the day. First smallie of the day is coming up. That, I think this one's on the mouth. Oh yeah, casting right around the boulders, textbook style. Right behind the rock, sometimes you got this fish just waiting, right? To ambush and feed. Chunky one too. All right, man, this is gonna be our first AEZ. This is gonna be our first species of the 10 species challenge. Barely hooked on the side of the mouth, as you guys can see. Oh yeah, beautiful little small mouth bass, huh? Yeah, man, this spot right here, I'm telling you, man, this may be a small one, but there are big ones down there. This this spot is gold. The species one, Leo. Mark it, mark it up there. Micropterus dolomio. Oh boy, I left the camera inside my book bag. So no underwater release of the fish. And not only that, no photo for this fish either, huh? Just a swift release here. All right, let me let me go back to shore, get my camera <laughs> out, <laughs> just in case. All right, got my camera now, back in the water. You know, fellas, this is just to complement what I said in the previous video on the YouTube channel. But it is like yesterday I came here and I had to explore the whole day for the juicy holes here in the Susquehanna River. Today... It's a different story, right? I don't need to explore anymore because I already know where the juicy holes are at. That's why I decided to hit the spot right away. It would be really nice to catch a little musky. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, right? So I'm going to keep casting over here to see if anything else shows up. At least for the next hour or so. Oh, fish on. <laughs> I have to say, man, this river does have a very healthy population of bass. Very healthy. Didn't get any big bites in the morning yet, but I've been landing bass like left and right. All smallies. Sun is coming out too. You know what, fellas? I think it is about time for us to give the smallies a little break. Yeah, look at that, another chunky one. They're all small, but I mean, you know, they're chunky, fun to catch, right? Good fighters. You guys may have noticed too in this video that I have been shifting the camera downwards, right? Towards the rocks, because I am always looking for shiners and daughters. I think the visibility is not that bad right now. I'm gonna switch a little bit to micro fishing that is just how i like it you see that just put a tiny little piece of worm at the tip look at the size of this hook right let me tell you all something okay when it comes to catching big fish trophy hunting i am the first one to admit i can't vouch for it it is not really my area of expertise but when it comes to micro fishing we're talking to a certified dink master especially when it comes to life listing we are 10 percent in this fishing challenge right now right catching 10 species it is time to boost that number let's go there's a lot of shiners around here get a shiner you can do it get a shiner get it get a shiner first shiner of the day bro let's see what it is i'm gonna put it in the photo tank can't risk dropping the fish in the water told you guys man when it comes to micro fishing i'm the balls <laughs> check it out huh fellas we got a species number two of our 10 species challenge I just took photos of this little guy here. We got here the Swallowtail Shiner, AKA the Notropis Procne. Not really a new species for me, but hey, at least we know now that in the Susquehanna River, 
This is at least one type of bait fish that the smallies like to snack on, right? There is at least one species of shiner that I don't have yet from the Susquehanna River. That would be the rosy face shiner. There's also a species of daughter that I don't have yet too. So I mean, those are like targets for today that I would really love to catch, right? All right, little swallowtail shiner. You are free, my man. It's taking a little while for the fish to kind of figure it out, you know? All right. Boy, the Susquehanna River is an interesting place. This particular spot is great for the smallmouth bass. It's got a nice run in the center. But when it comes to micro fishing, all that I saw were a few swallowtail shiner and a few daughters less than two inches. Very, very tiny. So this is what I'm going to do. Yesterday, I saw a very nice micro hole up there. I'm going to retie the spinner cast around see if i'm able to catch a fall fish to add to our challenge today right and once i get to the micro fishing hole up there we're going to chase some bigger size daughters oh yeah boy what we got here yeah, not a tiny smallie. My dude, river is healthy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. No big bite, but all right. Smallies do fight good. So why don't you go back there, huh, buddy? And go call your great grandmother to come visit the Asian here. <laughs> all right, man, go back. Tell her I'm here. Oh, fish on. Fish on, boy. Is it a fall fish? I need a fall fish. Could be a fall fish. I hope it is a fall fish. It didn't jump like a smolly duck. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's just another smolly. Boy, <laughs> boy, don't take me wrong. I love catching the smallies, okay? But when, <laughs> when you are doing multi species, and you are not really going after the bronze backs, it's, it's a different story, right? Otherwise, just bring me like, you know, a five pounder smolly, I would be happy too. But these little fellas, I've seen so many of them in the last few days. Oh, stop biting me, man. Ah, come on, fall fish. Oh, that's fish. I think that's fish. Fall fish? Fall fish? Man, all I want is one fall fish, but it's not jumping yet. It's not jumping. It may not be a smolly after all. It may be a fall fish. No, it's a smolly. Ay, 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 boy. Susquehanna, I gotta tell you folks, man, there's a lot of bears in the Susquehanna. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> oh man, game fish folks wouldn't complain about it. Yo, where's all my fall fish at, man? What, what's going on here? Fish on, boy. And it is not a fall fish. Man, it's another smallie, bro. Another smallie. <laughs> Son, what is going on here? Susquehanna, justice to its name. It's all this size, too. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but it is all this size. Like, I don't know, man. The sizes over here, they just, they just don't change. It's all that size. Oh, sorry about that, little fella. I wanted to release you nicely. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. That fall fish definitely hasn't shown up yet. Only smallies, smallies after smallies. But you know what? That's okay. 
we have arrived at the hole that I wanted to microfish at. I mean, even without the polarized lenses, you guys should be able to see that there are plenty of some type of shiners around here, right? It is my hope that we're going to pull the first sunfish of the day over here too. And hopefully the first daughter of the day, some new species. I think there are some sunfish down there. I am not 100% positive. It is my assumption that those sunfish are the red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auritus. But you guys know me, right? As a scientist, we make no assumptions like that. We need concrete proof which is why I'm tying on a size 18 hook instead of the Tanago and I'm just going to put a piece of a red wiggler and free fall down there. All right, let's see what we got. My goodness, the shiners are voracious. Oh, some fish, some fish saw it. Some fish got it, boy. And I got the sunfish. What do we got here? Man, it is not a red breast sunfish. What? No way. <laughs> My expectations were so high that this would be a red breast. What is, wait, is this a red breast? The, yo, if this is a red, no, wait a moment. There's something really funky about this particular sample here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why multi-species fishing is so much fun. I was so confident that I was going to land a red breast sunfish, right? Now you see, you see, let me let me put some water in the photo tank so I can show you guys better what this fish is all about, okay? I can't really count this fish as our third species of the day because this is not really a species okay this is actually a hybrid and under the water you can see this the features of this fish so much better right check that out this is one of those hybrids that seriously i don't catch very often around my area it is a bluegill red breast sunfish hybrid <laughs> you know most of the hybrids around my area are like bluegill with green sunfish, right? Uh, Lepomis macrocerus co cross Lepomis cyanellus, or you have like a pumpkin seed cross green sunfish, Lepomis gibbosus cross Lepomis cyanellus, but you don't usually have the red breast sunfish hybridized around my area. Since this is a hybrid, it doesn't really count as a species, so we're still at 20%, okay? but I still have hopes that there is a red breast down there. So for now, let's just release this fella here. And boy, the Susquehanna never ceases to amaze. Even if it is not a species, it is still super, super beautiful. You can see the vertical bars on this fish, which is really signature of the bluegill species. And you also have the features of the red breast sunfish man i am amazed at this particular sample such a beautiful beautiful fish all right my brother you are free to go yeah 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 turn yeah there we go huh? freedom a lot of hybrids out there are very very beautiful right you have the tiger trout which is actually a hybrid between the brown trout and the brook trout you have tiger muskies right so i mean they don't count as a species but you know they are beautiful regardless are really telling me that there is not red breast or something Oh, got it! Now this right here has got to be a red breast, right? Let's put it in the photo tank real quick. Oh, 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 easy, easy! Oh my goodness, why you got to do this to my filming equipment? Yeah, all right, that is 100% a red breast sunfish. Mark it over there, Leo, 30% sun! 
very nice very nice we got the sunfish out of the way we got three species from the Susquehanna River seven to go to finish our challenge man can we do this I mean it's looking pretty tough but I am not going to give up what is this man this is a shiner that we did not catch today yet now what exactly is this looks very interesting oh wait a moment oh this looks like mm, i can tell you one thing for sure ladies and gentlemen we definitely did not catch this fish today yet i just took a lot of photos of this little fella and if you take a good look at it the body is silvery it is very slender not that deep right it's got a little bit of black around the anal fin and the snout is kind of pointy it's got the markings of a notropis as well i really really believe that what i have here in my hands is a commonly shiner aka the notropis amoenus sadly not a new species for me you know the one that i'm really looking for down there shiner wise is the rosy face shiner that is the one that i don't have yet very similar to this one the only difference is got red on its face right and this one has no red on it <laughs> all right let's release it we are 40 percent into this challenge now four out of ten not bad not bad this is how life listing goes you know fellas you just keep catching and keep catching until something new finally decides to show up you can't really control exactly what shows up right yeah this is a beautiful fish man check that out huh beautiful sample for sure all right commonly you're free free yeah you're good to go a lot of other shiners around here too they're not even camera camera shy as you guys can see right man hopefully one of those is the species that I'm looking for. Pretty good. big daughter big daughter i got it that was in the mouth that was in the mouth big daughter big daughter that was you guys saw that that was in the mouth boy oh big daughter came out from the rock what is it it may be a new species oh this looks special this looks special boy you know ladies and gentlemen 2020 has been a raw fear huh covid 19 the economy is down a lot of unemployment but one thing's for sure we've been on fire when it comes to the persina genus you guys remember earlier this year i went down to murfreesboro tennessee and i caught my first ever common log perch the persina caprodes that was a new species right and then a few months later I went to Roanoke, Virginia. You guys remember that? We hit the Roanoke River, the mighty Thinker Creek, and I caught my first ever chainback daughter, the Persina Nevisensi. Not to mention that I even caught a pretty rare one, the Roanoke log perch, the Persina Hex. So I mean, at least we are slaying the Persina this year. And today, right here, Susquehanna, drainage this was a target species for me for this fishing trip we got here the shield darter new species persina peltata man that is what's up man look at the features on this fish huh we got the black right there on the dorsal fin we got the markings on the side of its body this is all 
signature signature of the shield darker is pc's 302 for me i'm going to explain that in a little bit okay but for now let me release this fish i got to tell you all this is pretty wild i was actually looking for the banded daughter which is another species that i really want to catch during this fishing trip i did not expect the shield daughter to show up wow man look at the patterns and the colors on that fella huh that is beautiful man that is one gorgeous beautiful darter right there all right i'm gonna shift the photo tank a little bit down yeah look it went right under that rock oh that is what's up <laughs> 50% new species. I am happy. You guys probably have a lot of questions for me, huh? You guys are probably wondering 302. What happened to 300 and 301, right? I mean, if you've been checking EPF's videos here on the channel, you saw that the last species that I caught was. 299 all right so let me explain that in this video all right so after i came back from spoken washington i kind of analyzed all the different scopings that i caught up there right uh the majority were tolerant scoping which is the cotus hotels but i actually did this thing called a prickle pattern right if you are into ichthyology and fish i'm not going to explain the whole process here but i actually found out bottom line that two of the scopings that i got were different than the others they turned out to be the columbia scoping which is the cotus hubsi so that was a species 300 okay a species 301 is not entirely my fault we all missed it if you watch the episodes from roanoke virginia there was this one daughter that i caught back then that i told you guys it looked like a tessellated but it wasn't quite like a tessellated as it turns out after i acquired the book freshwater fishes of virginia I kind of took a look at the distribution of the different daughters over there, right? The unique characteristics. And that particular daughter turned out to be a river weed daughter, which is the Etiostoma podestemone, right? So that was the species 301, which brings us to today, okay? Shield daughter 302. 50% into this challenge. Boy, I still got many, many hours to go. Can we catch 10? I hope so. Stay tuned. All right, it's time to do some surgery on this piece of worm here. Beautiful. I think this little piece will work. We took care of the shield daughter. Now it's time to catch the other one. There is a daughter down here that is very hard to catch. I've been trying to catch it for the last 90 minutes. When I finally got one of them to bite, it took my bait. <laughs> I'm going to try for a little bit more because I'm pretty sure that is going to be a new species. Uh, it's never easy to catch the daughters, man. Daughters are tough to catch. Got it. Is this the one that I'm looking for? wait a moment this may not be the one that i'm looking for though oh wait a moment this is it this this wait uh actually i don't uh, wait we're gonna put in the photo tank anyways well fellas the good news is that this is yet another species for our challenge today we are actually six out of ten the bad news is that this is not the daughter that I am looking for. As a matter of fact, it saddens me to say this, but this daughter right here, I am way too familiar with. I catch this daughter right around my area all the time. The Delaware drainage river system. This is the tessellated daughter, okay? The Etiostoma Olmstead. You know what? I'm going to release this guy all the way over here. Please, <laughs> not, not today, okay, man? I came here all the way to the Susquehanna River drainage so that i can catch your cousins all right your cousins 
Man, when is that bandit daughter going to show up? I tell you all what, after that tessellated daughter, I think it is about time for me to tie on the inline spinner again and move a little bit upstream. Cast the spinner, maybe we're going to find another hole for micros, right? I still need that fall fish. I mean, we got six out of 10 right now, but the last four, I can feel it. It is going to be tough. There's three nice ones right over here. Big one's looking at it. Big one got it. Big one got it. And I got him. Oh, Two hours, boy. Whew. Pent up frustration is gone. What I get? What I get? Oh, yes, dude. I think this is the one that I wanted. This is the one that I wanted, boy. It's the bandit. It's the bandit dot in the mouth. You guys see this? In the mouth. Two hours, man. Two hours, bro. Two. Oh, my goodness, dude. Whew. The things that we do for these daughters. Look at that. 100% banded daughter, Eteostoma zonale, new species, 303, yeah, look at the green, the red on the thing, that's it, and this is a very nice sample too, very, very nice sample. Whew. You know, I'm not going to tell you guys that I am like the daughter expert, but I've been around, I've caught different species of daughters, and this one in particular, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, it was tough. It was really, really hard to catch it. I've been spending the last two hours, yo, you guys saw in the morning, we started this challenge 9 a.m., right? Now it's 3, 3, 12, and for the past two hours, 120 minutes, I've been targeting this particular daughter, right? So, I mean, the fact that I caught it, I'm just, I'm beyond happy. Yo, I wanna show you, no, I, I, I wanna show you guys, okay? I try bigger pieces of, of red wigglers for the bigger daughters down there, and they wouldn't even touch it when I put it in front of their faces, right? I got the Tanago with a split shot, and check it out, check the size of the little red wiggler right you can barely even see that this thing is baited this is what the fish took goodness gracious i tell you what though all worth it this is one of the most beautiful daughters that i've seen at least come from pennsylvania look at the green on the side right i took photos of this little dude so we are all good beautiful beautiful sample a species 303 and we are 7 out of 10 in this challenge. My hope is up now. At least, at least now I have hopes that we can complete this challenge. That is crazy, you all. That is nuts. Oh, boy. Check it out, huh? Oh, yeah. Beautiful sample. Ah, I'm just going to open it up against the current oh did it go oh that was a really bad release no i wanted to get a good view of the fish well it's all right we took enough photos you guys can see the photos right <laughs> oh man while i was targeting the daughter over here i actually saw a type of shiner that was a little bit different i think it was a fungulus so that's my goal right now catch that fungulus just to add to today's challenge 
right there, right there. Right here, boy. Got him. I got him. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for, the Fundulus, boy. Trophy fish? I don't know. Micro? I'm the Dink Master, son. This is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Look, in the mouth, okay? Little banded, banded killifish. Fundulus diaphanus. Oh, not bad, not bad at all. Species number eight of the day. Two more to go, fellas. Six and a half hours fishing so far. We have come a long, long way. Long, long way. Only two more species. We can do this. It is time to run the spinners, see if that fall fish is going to show up. All right, easy here, easy on the step. We got what? Let me see, about well, three hours, man. Three hours until sunset. For a lot of people, three hours is a lot of time. But when you're chasing species, particular species, three hours sometimes is nothing. As you guys saw, just that little daughter took two hours of today's time. We got a lot of work to do, but I have faith, man, that we can complete this challenge. There's one. Hopefully not a smallie. Please let it not be a smallie. Yes! That's the fall fish that we're looking for, boy! Check it out, huh? Simotilus mm, corporalis. Number nine. Number nine of the day. We are one away, fellas. One away. All right, fall fish are very sensitive. So I'm going to release this guy right over here. All right, back it goes. You guys want to hear something funny? I just yelled for <laughs> catching that fall fish. And the folks were fishing over there, like three of them. They think I'm crazy, right? Because it wasn't a smallie. Where little they know that I'm not targeting smallie, son. I'm doing the 10 species challenge. Bro, they can laugh at me all they want, dude. I'm one away, one away. All right, all right. 4.12 p.m. Sunset is around 6.30. We got about two hours until then. Now the problem is we are nine species in this challenge so far. One to go, but you guys know it, that last one is the hardest, right? Earlier today, for the past few hours, more than a few hours, I've been fishing below the dam. I explored the entire spot over there, right? So I'm afraid I'm running out of species to catch down there, which is why I thought we should hop above the dam, right? Explore some spots over here because, I mean, below and above, you just never know, right? Maybe the species change. So let's hit a few holes above the dam. Dude, no time to waste. Let's finish this challenge in a classy way. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, fish on. Oh, oh, is this a smallie? Boy, nice, nice, easy. We're gonna take it easy with this one. Gotta take it easy with this one. I think it's a smallie. It's a smallie, it's a smallie. Below or above the dam, man, the thing that does not change is the small mouth bass. That's a nice smallie too. Oh yeah, chunky. Chunkiest one of the day coming from above the dam. Look at that. Oh yes, man. Now this is more like a proper smallie, yeah? From above the dam. A smallmouth bass. Yeah. I don't know, fellas. I'm afraid that the inline spinner 
is not going to do us any good above the dam. We may really have to find some strategic spots to try to find some new species. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Do I think, is that what I think it is, man? Is that a pipe? Is this a pipe here that goes into the river? Uh, a little bit deep in front of the pipe, too. You guys know, right? Pipes like this are actually perfect environments to kind of free line a worm to see if anything comes out you know fellas this thing is like a law you can't really see a pipe and not cast in front of it to see if anything shows up you know what i'm saying it is the moment of the truth is the tenth species going to come out of this pipe all right let's see if there's anything at least in the structure here on the pipe Oh yeah, oh yeah, from the pipe comes, oh it's a red breast sunfish, ah son, Lepomis auritus, the thing is we already caught the red breast today, I'm expecting something like a little rock bass, the Umbloplitus hupestris, to kind of complete the challenge, but hey, I'll take it, at least there's a fish here, let me check the time real quick, I know I'm running out of time, 5 58 p.m pretty much 6 p.m i've been fishing for nine hours straight man even sacrifice my lunch <laughs> for this challenge i don't know if i am going to complete it or not but i've been trying this pipe over here been catching a bunch of red breast i haven't given up yet you know so we'll see man we'll see a few casts with the aerotech wi-fi who knows, maybe some magic is going to happen. Maybe we are going to fail indeed. I refuse to believe that we are going to fail though. I don't know, man. There's got to be, there's got to be something different here, I mean. my goodness dude yes is this it is this it is this dude this is it this is it this is it boy tent is species of the day on the aerotech or wi-fi you cannot make this up after 6 p.m less than 30 minutes left we got our 10 species of the day that completes this challenge. This is it, man. This is it. Mark it down, Leo. Mar mark it up there, my boy. Mark it up. 10 out of 10. 100%. And this is my first ever rock bass, the Umbloplitus hupestris, from the Susquehanna River. Okay, first one ever. The challenge is over. I've been fishing for nine hours straight. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Fellas, I got to tell you, I just want to show you all, okay? I just want to show you all. 6.13 p.m. I've been fishing since 9 a.m. <laughs> I hit this river for nine hours straight. Talk the talk, walk the walk, my man. I think I've shown to you guys, right, in this video, that the Susquehanna River is definitely not just about the smallmouth bass, right? And as a live lister, as a multi-species angler, the results for today were great. Not only I landed 10 different species, two of them were new species to my life list, right? Species number 200, I mean 302, and the 303 two daughters that i was really really looking forward to catching you know let this video be a reminder for everyone out there me included right 
that everyone comes here to the Susquehanna and they talk about the smallies, you know, oh, we got big smallies, it is a big smallie population, right? But this video really, really shows you how rich this river actually is, right? And if there are smallies in this river that are five pounds, even bigger than five pounds, how do you think those fish got that big, right? I mean, sure, they have a great population of crawfish over here, but all the species that I caught in this video today, they contribute to the overall ecosystem, right? They're food for your so beloved game fish. The smallies will eat the daughters, it will eat the shiners, it will even eat the fall fish and everything else, right? So let this video serve as a reminder, fellas, you know, that sometimes it is not just about the game fish. A lot of life, a lot of biodiversity, you just need to know where to look for it. All right, I'm rambling like a politician now, man, because I'm hungry and tired. <laughs> it is time for me to call it a day. Thank you very much for watching this video, fellas. I appreciate it. I am exhausted. I will see you guys next time.